Sharing your local project across multiple devices can be a frustrating issue. This is why we have tools like Local Tunnel and NGROC. They do their job, however, they also have some drawbacks. Personally, I've used both of them. In Local Tunnel, I have experienced some connection issues, and NGROC is better, but it comes with some strings attached. So, from this reason, I decided to switch to a new alternative and end up using Bore. It is a minimal, simplistic TCP tunnel written in Rust. It is very simple to use and it has a great feature of self-hosting. So in this video we will be looking at how to install and use Bor. So hit the like button and let's get started. Now first things first, since the project is written in Rust we need to use the package manager to install Bor, which is Cargo. To verify the installation you can execute the command cargo dash dash version. It should print out the version. If not then you can easily install it from the website crates.io. Once we are sure that it is installed, we can install bor. To do it, we use the command cargo install bor cli and wait for it to be completed. Now we are ready to use it. To demonstrate it, I will be using the default Next.js project. However, this can be any project running on your local machine. To fire up the project, I go to a new tab, head into the project directory and run the project. And just like that, now it is up and running. Since that's done, now we can tunnel it by using bor. To do it, we head back to our terminal and type the command bor local 3000 dash dash to bor.pop. This command will tunnel our project via the bor servers, which is running on a remote machine. We will see how to run a local server in a second, but now let's hit enter. There, as you can see, it gave us a port number. So all we have to do is go to the bor.pub followed by the given port number. Now, when I enter this in my browser, there we go. Now we can access our project remotely. And for extra measure, let's test it on a mobile device. And there we have Tekken. This is especially really useful for website responsiveness testing because Chrome DevTools for responsiveness is not always as accurate as a real device. Now let's set up our own server, which is again very simple. We open up a new tab on our terminal and type the command for server, then hit enter. Just like that, it started up. At this point, we are ready to connect our application. Just like the previous one, we can again use the command bor local 3000 2. But this time, instead of bor.pub, we give the IP address of the server. Now, since I run the server on my local machine, I will be giving its IP address. Then, we simply execute the command. To verify that it is working, I open up my phone, which is connected to the same network as my laptop. Then grab my computer's IP address and add the port that is given to me by the board. And there we have it. I don't know if you've noticed, but this time it loaded much quicker. And that is because instead of routing the traffic through the internet, we simply route it through our local network, which has this kind of benefits. So if you are sharing your application with various devices within the same network, setting up a simple local server can be very beneficial. Now, since we are speaking of setting up a server, let's talk a bit about authentication. In the previous example, everyone on our local network can access the server and use it to tunnel their application. If we want to prevent that, we can use the authentication built into the board. Using it again is very simple. All we have to do is pass the secret argument while we are creating our server and follow that by a passphrase. Just like that. Now, when I run that and head back to the previous tab and try to connect, as you can see, it failed. And it tells me that it requires authentication, which is what we wanted. Now, let's add our password by again using the secret flag followed by our password. And there we have it. This time, it works flawlessly. In the end, I really liked the board project. It does what it says and it does it nicely. And that said, I hope you enjoyed it and find it useful. If that is the case, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. And until next time, take care.